Hey friends, what's happening? It's Krim, and the purpose of today's video is to give you all a bit of an update on all of the things that have been happening in the world of rogues, both in a sense of community and the Shadowlands beta. There's a few things to go over, and let's start us off with talking about the addition of weapon tokens. Weapon tokens are a recent addition to the beta and mark a great quality of life change, especially for assassination and subtlety rogues. Now these tokens work much in the same way as old tier set tokens used to work in a sense that they are tradable between certain classes and then you go back to your major city or covenant sanctum in this case to trade this item in for a weapon or offhand of your choice. As I said for assassination and subtlety especially this is a great change because for a while now they have been the only agility dagger users in raids. As you can see from the tooltip we are now part of the Zenith subgroup, which we share with warriors and monks. Next, let's talk about some more substantial updates specific to Rogue. In last week's beta build, both of Rogue's missing talents were added, one for Outlaw and one for Subtlety, respectively. Outlaw's new talent is called Dreadblades, and this is a returning spell from the Legion Artifact Weapon Active Ability. This is on a 1.5 minute cooldown, and when you use it for the next 10 seconds, all of your builders, including any Covenant abilities, will instantly fill up your combo point bar and your finishes will cost 5% of your max health. This can be incredibly potent, especially when stacked with the Guile's Charm legendary effect. There is a downside to Dreadblades though, in the sense that it devalues any combo point gaining buffs that you may have, such as the Broadsides buff from Boulder Bones or Opportunity on your Pistol Shot procs. The main downside though to Dreadblades is that it shares a talent row with Alacrity which is incredibly strong in pretty much every situation. Subtlety's new talent currently fills the spot where Find Weakness is on the live servers and this talent is called Premeditation. When you have this talent and you use Shadow Strike from Stealth it will give you 10 seconds worth of Slice and Dice or if you already have Slice and Dice rolling gives you an extra 2 combo points. Currently on the beta this is very buggy and also does not work from Shadow Dance, although I'm not sure if that's intentional or a bug. Either way, even if this is all fixed, both of the other options, Weapon Master and Gloomblade, look like they're going to be better options. There is a case to be made for premeditation, maybe in PvP or in leveling, but it's overall quite an underwhelming talent. Lastly, I want to make you guys aware of the Rogue interview that was done the other day on Sleuth's stream. Sloot is a prominent YouTuber and Twitch streamer in the Warcraft community and for the last few weeks has been doing these round table style interviews with members from various classes. For rogues we had Koji Jama and Missler, both of whom are top theory crafters and work on rogue simcraft for example, and Undad TV who is a high end player, has competed in several MDIs and is looking to play some more rogue when Shadowlands hits. I can highly recommend watching this even though it is quite a long watch but it's great to have on in the background while you're working or for example farming world quests or doing dailies. And with that you guys are now once again up to date with all things concerning rogues. If you are enjoying the content make sure to subscribe, leave a like, if there's anything you would like to see or maybe you have some questions make sure to leave them in the comments or come find me on my stream twitch.tv forward slash crimwow. I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you in the next video.